Scoon is an NES game developed by the company Home Data, 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 who later changed their name to Magical Company in 1993. Most of the games they developed never left Japan, and while the Magical Company aren't listed as defunct, the last game they developed I could find came out in 2004. So yeah, probably defunct. You would think Schoon is short for schooner or something, but a schooner is a sailboat, not a pink submarine. There are not many fun facts to pack into this intro, but did you know that because there was no North American division of IRIM, the game's publisher, all technical support inquiries were handled by Broderbund? Huh? Bet you didn't. Anyway, what's up with Schoon? Schoon is an underwater shoot 'em up. You're a cute little pink submarine that can shoot missiles and ice balls. Essentially, in shoot 'em up terms, the ice balls are your bombs as they drop straight down to the bottom of the sea. But all of your ammo is unlimited, so that's good. Your goal is to rescue little peoples that are being held captive under the water, but you better get them before the killer whales do. You can kill off the whales, but they come right back, so when you burst open one of the people containers, you have to get to the peeps quickly. Okay, so why are people being held underwater? The story is my favorite part. It takes up three pages of the manual, and it's awesome, but I'm going to have to paraphrase it here. So, on Swiss government TV, it is declared that planet Earth is in a state of emergency. The Earth Defense Army has announced that the Neptunians, an underwater race of aliens, have invaded Earth, are melting the polar ice caps, and are using humans as food. No bueno. Evidently, six months ago, the Neptunians met and decided their planet was dying and being turned into a desert. Okay, here's my favorite part. The man-ham livestock, which the Neptunians used for food, was being destroyed. Man-ham livestock. <laughs> so anyway, they got to move out or starve and they decided to invade Earth because there was plenty of man-ham. So yeah, you get it. They go around to Earth's major cities, collect people for food, toss them in underground manham factories for future manham dinners, and you and your little pink submarine have to defeat alien sea life and rescue people to save civilization. There are eight total stages that are different areas on Earth. You start in New York, then go to Hawaii, China, India, Egypt, Greece, England, and finally the North Pole to save those ice caps. If the ice caps are destroyed, the water level rises, and now we're all Neptunian food and we don't want that. While each stage is a little different looking, it won't be evident that you're in Hawaii or Greece unless you look at the manual. So how do you play this thing? Well, it's fairly simple, but you have to keep an eye on your fuel on the lower left. Fuel is time, essentially. You have about 60 seconds to refuel. You can refuel a couple of different ways. One is you rescue exactly nine people from the underwater factories and a barge thing comes by. You float up to it and tap B repeatedly to get people off the sub, and you're rewarded with some fuel or a powered up undersea torpedo. The more common way to refuel is to kill the crabs, but they are tricky. You have to blast the crab with an ice bomb and pick up the gold it drops immediately. If you wait a split second too long, the crab will reappear and you'll lose a life and this game only gives you three. The barge loves gold, so if you get the crab gold, it'll come by and you float up to it and refuel. If you run out of fuel, you die. If you get hit by anything, you die. You'll see plenty of factories as you go, and the manual actually has them diagrammed out with what you can explode and whatnot, but really you don't have to pay attention to any of that. You can blow it up or not, you still progress. So just do your best to dodge enemies and spam the ice ball as much as possible and you should be fine. I say you'll be fine, but the game is tough. Enemies are fast and their patterns are sometimes unpredictable. They zip around and loop and you're not even safe if they're behind you. And sometimes spikes shoot from beneath you and you have to watch out for that. At the end of some levels it's nearly impossible to survive without some practice. There's an onslaught of enemies coming at you, around you, and beneath you, and you just need to stay alive and keep shooting until it's all over. You never know what some enemies are going to do and there's no auto fire so that's a bummer. You can shoot in bursts of about three or four torpedoes and one ice ball at a time so you have to be careful. While the game is tough and the story is hilariously silly, it's still a lot of fun. The refueling aspect adds a neat little layer of strategy to a basic NES era shoot 'em up. The theme is not space for once, though aliens are still involved, and it's short. There's eight stages and they can be over pretty quick if you stay fueled and power up your weapon. Watch out though, if you die, you lose a power up. Another bummer is that there is no reward for beating the game. If you complete the final stage, the game just reloops to stage one. No congrats for saving the people from becoming minced manham. No nothing. Schoon is a fine shoot 'em up if you're looking for a different kind of experience. It presents a challenge, but nothing you can't overcome and makes for a fun time even if you aren't great at the genre. Being mindful of fuel and rescuing humans is a neat wrinkle that helps the game stand out. 
There are no other ports or sequels of Schoon. It is a one of a kind on the NES, but if you like underwater shooters, you might like In the Hunt on the PS1. It's like Metal Slug meets Schoon, looks great, and is a lot of fun. In fact, In the Hunt was developed by the team that worked on Metal Slug, and guess what? In the Hunt was published by Irem, just like Schoon. Could it actually be a sequel? Maybe. It is a little hard to find on the PS1 though, so good luck with that. Alright, that does it for Schoon on the NES. Don't become a Neptunian's manham, and thanks for watching.